Hi there, Libra, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of December the 4th through to the 10th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Libra. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Sun in the upright, followed then by the Nine of Wands upright, followed then by the Queen of Swords upright, and next we have the Page of Cups in the upright, and lastly, the Eight of Swords reversed. So here we are with your beautiful overall energy of the Sun in the upright position, Leo energy. The Sun represents such a high vibrational energy. It is beautiful. It's high vitality. It's feeling really good. It's that feeling that you get when after it's been raining for days or weeks or months on end and the sun finally comes out and you can just bask in that beautiful sunshine where it gives you the energy and the vitamins that your body so uh, desperately needs. It can uh, come up when we are uh, overcoming something. It could be, you know, the blues. It could be a bout of uh, depression, feeling overly sad. And now we're feeling really good again. Sometimes this can come up after we've been not feeling well physically, could be sick. And now this high vitality comes and takes us over and we just feel like we can take on the world. It's a beautiful energy. Um, it also represents success and attainment. So that can also add to it to bring our vitality up a notch. Right at the beginning of the week, you do have the wounded warrior here, the nine of wands in the upright position, indicating that you could be you could have been fighting this same challenge, the same battle over and over and over again, uh, Libra. Now this could be the same challenge that we keep coming up against when it comes to our relationship. It could be the same challenge we keep coming up against when we're dealing with a financial situation, a work or career situation, or uh, a family situation, neighborhood, whatever it is, it's a pesky problem, financial problem. It just keeps rearing its ugly head over and over and over again. And we feel like we're just banging our head against the wall. That's the wounded warrior energy for me. <laughs> this is where, um, look, at, you know, look at, he's quite bad, uh, beat up here. This is where we fought many battles on this front. But the thing about the wounded warrior is he's just ready for another battle. It could be something is happening around you and you just feel like, oh, here we go again. Now, remember, keep in mind that the wounded warrior doesn't necessarily have to fight another day. He's just, it's strength and reserve. He's ready to, to go into battle again if he should have to. So... You'll have to let us know in the comment section below. Did you have to deal with this challenge again? Or was it just a feeling that you had that you might have to? Next card is the Queen of Swords in the upright position. It is a court card. Could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is you, Libra, coming up in your own reading in the upright position, indicating you are on the right path when it comes to communication and serious communication at that. Because you're coming up at the Queen as the Queen of Swords does not mince their words. The Queen of Swords is interested in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Wants clarity. Wants to keep things in the mental cerebral uh, logical arena does not want to get emotional about something so for some of you remember this is you coming up in your own reading so you're on the right path it could be that you are trying to deal with this challenge in a mental cerebral logical kind of way maybe you want to get to the bottom of this so this sounds like a libra thing to do let's get to the bottom of it so we can make peace you could be dealing with somebody else who's like that, who's just laying it on the line and shooting from the hip, or this could be you yourself uh, doing that in the early part of the week. Because maybe you're tired. We usually in the Nine of Wands, we are tired of dealing with it. It's like, oh no, not this again. <laughs> so perhaps you're nipping it in the bud by coming out and saying something. Moving on towards the weekend, we have the Page of Cups in the upright position. Beautiful energy. This is uh, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Page of Cups in the upright position points to 
um, beautiful messages. It can be uh, messages of anything from messages of love to an apology, a heartfelt apology. This could be somebody who is messaging you and saying that to you. It could be that somebody's just making your day by, you know, a younger person. It could be a child or someone is just sort of approaching you and maybe bring you a, 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 a little bunch of flowers or something and just sort of bring your, your uh, feeling up. Because don't discount these little things. It's the little things in life that really count. These kinds of things can just suddenly make us realize how closed our heart has been when something like that happens and our heart opens up for a minute. So beautiful moments, take them. I always say take the beautiful moments and cherish them. Brothers, if you, the Page of Cups can represent a loving message coming your way. This could be somebody sending you a message that is very encouraging on the uh, love front. It could be uh, somebody has a crush on you. It could be that somebody is <clears throat> very shy and could be dealing with a, a person who's really loving, but they're incredibly shy or really immature on the emotional front. Because the, remember, it's just at a page level. This one doesn't really know how to express their feelings full on just yet, or they could just be extremely shy. Um, last card you have is the Eight of Swords in the reverse position, indicating a freedom. This is a, finding your escape route, getting out of something that was quite oppressive when it was in the upright position. Eight of Swords is when a lot of times um, we can have a lot of thoughts ruminating around our head, make us feel trapped in a situation when we really aren't. But <clears throat> our mind kind of convinces us that and other people piping in with their words can convince us that we are trapped in a situation. When the card is reversed, this is where we are being released from that, whether it's your own mind that made you feel trapped in a situation, or we literally were maybe trapped in a contract or trapped in a situation we really didn't care to be in, and now this is the release of it. Something happens here and brings you out of that. So <clears throat> it could be the words that you're speaking here could bring this release for you because you are being very forthright. And whatever it is, it is bringing great relief to you, great happiness and enjoyment with this sun here. So it definitely looks like a case of all is well that ends well. So don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment section below. And uh, I will shut her down here. And thank you very much for joining me. I really hope you have a fabulous week. And I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Take care. Much love. Bye-bye for now.